this video is created by Jagrat Creations. I want to solve one sum wherein conversion of a partnership firm to a company. So business of the partnership firm is sold to a company. The accounting for sale of business will be done in the books of the partnership firm. For that purpose, I want to take care of one sum. Just observe the sum on the screen. Sonal, Rupal and Payal were carrying on business in a partnership firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 1. On 31st of December 2016, they decided to sell the business to Kirti Limited when their position was as follows. So, as I said, you are given the building, furniture, investment, data, bills, reserve, stock, cash, capital, creditors, depreciation fund, that's on, presumed to be on building, reserve fund. Kirti Limited took over the entire business and the purchase price was payable in fully paid of 8,000 shares of rupees 10 each issued at rupees 12 each. Depends at 20,000 and 6,000 paid in 6,000 cash payment. The expenses of realization amounted to 2,000. There is no agreement between partners as regards the proportion in which the shares and debentures are to be divided amongst them. So when there is no agreement between partners, the proportion in which the shares and debentures received from the company are to be distributed, we shall distribute them in the proportion of capital existed on the date of dissolution. You are required to close the books of firm distributing the shares and debentures in the proportion that you may deem fit. So we shall distribute shares and debenture in proportion of capital that is redeemable on dissolution of the firm. Now, first of all, we should try to find out the purchase price. The purchase price is already given on the basis of payment. 8,000 shares into 12, 96,000 plus 20,000 plus 6,000. So 96,000, 20,000 plus 6,000, that is the consideration payment that we are going to receive for transfer of this business. So the partnership firm is going to receive the purchase consideration, the total of equity, value of equity shares, debentures and cash received. So here, we, are, we can find out the purchase price very comfortably. But even then, I would like to find out the or I would like to prepare a working note which generally students start preparing in the examination. So let me start with the, that. And this is the approach of the student. What is purchased? What is paid? Then by preparing, the net assets and the payment made will be compared and we shall find out the goodwill. That is the normal practice students generally follow. In this sum, you can find out the purchase price straight away on the basis of total payment. No need to find out the goodwill, but it is a tendency of the student to find out the goodwill. Of course, you should find out the goodwill if you want to write out the, if you want to write the books of accounts of the company. But here you are required to write the books of accounts of the firm, and the purchase price is really readily available on the basis of total payment. No need to find out the goodwill. But even then, I just find out the goodwill with an academic interest and with a specific instruction that is the total payment is already given and the purchase price could be worked out on the basis of total payment. No need to work out net assets and find the amount of goodwill. But even then, I am doing that with an academic interest. So, building is purchased 25,000 minus 4,000. So, net book value of the building is 21,000. This is the purchase price of building. When you are not given the market value of the assets acquired, you should presume that they are purchased at the book value by the company. So furniture is purchased at 11,000, means partnership firm has sold the furniture for 11,000, that is the book value. Investments are sold at book value, that is 28,000 by the partnership firm. Or the company has purchased the investment for 28,000. Daters are purchased by the company for 25,000. Or the partnership firm has sold the daters for 25,000, that is the book value. Same with bills receivable, stock and cash are exchanged at the book value. So this is being sold by the partnership firm to the company. From that you are required to deduct the liabilities that is creditors because the business is made of assets and liabilities. All the assets and liabilities are purchased by the company at its book value because we are not given any specific agreed exchange value for the assets and liabilities. So we presume that all the assets and liabilities are purchased by the company at, at, at its book value and they are being sold by the firm at its book value. So now how the payment is made? Equity share face value is 80,000. Security premium they are on 
is 16,000, debentures given by the company 20,000 and 6,000 is the cash payment. Now this is the total payment, that is the purchase price, 122,000. Total of assets minus total of liabilities, 96,000 is the net assets. The purchase of 96,000 is the net, net assets purchase 96,000. Payment made 122,000. So, goodwill, payment for goodwill made by the company to the firm or the gain by a firm by transfer of business is 26,000. But that gain will be different when we shall prepare realization account because we are required to consider the dissolution expenses, realization expenses when we prepare the realization account. But this is the profit on transfer of business, apparent profit on transfer of business that is profit for the firm and the excess payment made by the company to the firm is identified as goodwill. So goodwill is a term from the viewpoint of the company but this is a gain from the viewpoint of the partnership firm. That's an important point that one should understand. Now this is a dissolution of the firm, partnership firm is closed down, the entire business is sold to the company. So we are going to prepare ledger accounts in the books of the partnership firm and as you know that in case of dissolution we prepare realization account, cash account, partner's capital account. So here I am going to prepare realization account. This is the cash account, this is the purchaser company Kirti Limited account. This is the equity share received from Kirti Limited account, this is the debentures account and these are the various accounts that I prepare in the books of the firm. I want to go for accounting of dissolution. So all the assets are to be transferred, assets to be realized are transferred to the debit side of realization account at its book value. That is the first step. So first step, copy the details of the balance sheet, building debit into realization account, 25,000 realization account debit to building account, realization account debit to furniture, realization account debit to investment, Realization account debit to debtors, bills receivable, stock and notice that cash balance is also sold. So cash balance is not transferred as an opening balance in cash account but the cash balance will be transferred to the realization account because it is realized simultaneously with other assets and it has become a part of purchase price. So cash is sold. So cash balance of 20,000 that is transferred to realization account, that's an important point. Because all the business assets and liabilities are sold and all the business assets include cash balance. So cash is also sold to the company, so it is transferred to the realization account. That's an important point. Notice that this cash balance, I don't write as the opening balance. Because I have sold cash and on the basis of that cash, in all assets sold with including cash, and for that the purchase price agreed is 122,000. That's an important point to be noticed. Capital of Sonal, Rupal and Pal credited to the capital account. Creditors, liabilities are transferred to the credit side of realization account. Depreciation fund, any reserve against the asset is also credited to realization account. This reserve fund 60,000 will be distributed in the profit sharing ratio that is 4 is to 3 is to 1. So 16,000 into 4 by 8. Sonal share in reserve fund 8,000. Share of Rupal 6,000 and share of pile 2000. So this 16,000 reserve fund distributed in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 1. So 4, 8, 3, 8 and 1 eighth of 16,000 is the share of Sonal, Rupal and Pal, and that is credited to the capital accounts of the partners. If you want to listen the journal entry, reserve, general reserve account debit to Sonal capital account credit 8,000, to Rupal capital account credit 6,000, to Pal capital account credit 2,000. This is how you can write the journal entry. For transfer of undistributed profits, to the capital accounts of the partners. Now after this balance sheet is done, all these assets and liabilities are sold to a company. To whom it is sold? It is sold to Kirti Limited. At what price? 122,000. So amount recoverable from Kirti Limited, 122,000 because all these assets and liabilities are transferred to the Kirti Limited. Kirti Limited is the receiver of this business, debit the receiver. So Kirti Limited account debit 122,000 and the realized value of net assets is credited to realization account. Now in this 122,000, what have I received from Kirti Limited? I have received equity shares, 80,000 plus 16,000, 96,000, equity shares in Kirti Limited account debit. This is the asset, investment asset. Shares is an asset for me. I am a vendor. In consideration, I got the shares. So the shares 
is an asset acquired by me. So asset account debit. Who is the giver? Kirti Limited is the giver. Credit the giver. So Kirti Limited account is credited. I got the debentures 20,000. 20, so debentures of Kirti Limited account debit to Kirti Limited account credit. Kirti Limited is the giver. Credit the giver. The investments received is to be debited to asset account debenture, investment account debenture of Kirti Limited account is to be debited. And cash received 6,000. That will be debited to cash account. Cash account debit, Kirti Limited is a given, credit is a given. So this is how 122,000 is being recovered. So when you write this entry, all the assets and liabilities are transferred to the realization account. Capital balance and undistributed profits are transferred to capital account. If the cash balance is sold, it is transferred to realization account. If the cash balance is not sold, it is recorded in the cash account as the opening balance. After recording all these things, when the business is sold, the next entry is write the entry for purchase consideration due, purchase consideration received, and purchase consideration distributed. But after recording this purchase consideration, we should try to find out the profit or loss on realization of assets and liabilities or on re realization of the realization value of the business. So realization profit or loss should be worked out. That should be distributed amongst partners in the ratio of profit sharing. So expenses of realization amounted to 2000. So realization account debit to cash account credit. So these are the realization expenses paid. Now close this realization account. Find the profit or loss on realization of assets and realization of business transfer it to capital account. You are required to close the books of accounts or distribute the share, shares and debentures in proportion as you may deem fit. So the proportion that you may deem fit that I will distribute in the ratio of capital. So there is no agreement between the partners regarding the proportion in which the shares and debentures are divided amongst them. So in deem fit, I will distribute that mean them in the ratio of capital. So realization account, total of credit minus total of debit. So this is a realization profit 24,000 that will be distributed in the ratio of profit sharing that is 4 is to 3 is to 2, 4 is to 3 is to 1. So 24,000 into 4 by 8, 12,000 is the share of Sonal, realization account debit to Sonal account credit, realization account debit to Rupal account credit, realization account debit to Payal account credit. This is how realization profit distributed amongst partner in the ratio of profit sharing that is 4 is to 3 is to 1. Now this is the, this is the capital redeemable, these are the assets, shares, debentures and cash cash balance, these are the assets that we are having. From these assets, the distribution will be made against the partner's capital claim. So this is the capital claim after recording all losses and profits. So this is the ultimate capital payable to the partners. So these shares, debentures and cash will be distributed amongst partners. So you are not told the ratio in which it is to be distributed. So I am going to distribute shares and debentures in the ratio of capital. So capital of Sonal 40 plus 8 plus 12. 60,000, capital of Rupal, 21,000, 6,000 and 9,000, so it, it works out to be 36,000 and capital of Payal, that will be 24,000. Now debit balance, debits, rupees are not there, so this is the closing capital balance. So this ratio, uh, 60, 36 and 24, so 12 fives are 60, 12 threes are 36, 12 twos are 24, so capital ratio is 5 to 3 to 2. So the shares and debentures will be distributed in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. So 96,000 distributed in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. So Sonal gets shares of 48,000. Sonal is the receiver, debit the receiver. Sonal account debit to equity shares of Kirti Limited account credit 48,000. Same way Rupal is given shares, Rupal is the receiver. Debit the receiver, Rupal account debit to Kirti Limited shares account credit and Payal account debit to equity share of Kirti Limited account credit. This is how these 96,000 shares are distributed in the proportion of capital, capital claim of the partners at the end. After dissolution of the firm, whatever the capital claim is there, in that proportion, the equity shares, the ventures received in consideration are distributed. Now debentures are to be distributed in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. So Sonal account debit to Kirti account. So this is how 
debentures are distributed. Now, partner's capital is to be paid in cash remaining. So, 60,000 minus 58,000. 2,000 paid to solar, solar capital account, debit to cash account. For Rupal, 36. And here, 36. 28,800. 6,000 deducted from 36,000. So, 1,200 paid to Rupal. So, Rupal capital account, debit to cash account. And same way, Pile is paid 24,000 minus 19,200 and 4,000. The 800 is paid to Pile, Pile account debit to capital account. Your cash account should tally. So 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6,000. So total of credit and debit is 6,000. This is how my cash account totals of debit and credit agrees. No cash balance is left. And of course, it, no cash balance could ever be left because the partnership firm is dissolved. So this is how the sale of business is accounted in the books of the partnership firm. So here the shares and debentures should be distributed amongst partners in the agreed proportion. Whatever the proportion that partners agree for distribution of shares and debentures amongst themselves, that should be operated first of all. If it is not given to you, then you can go for the proportion that is rational and reasonable. Here in this sum, I have distributed in the ratio of capital. So, I have tried to explain you this sum. I think that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you. Now, the same sum I have already uploaded, wherein the same sum is recorded in the books of company. So, company has purchased the business. Then same sum I have sold in the books of company, same sum I have sold in the books of partnership firm. So you can refer to both the uploaded sums for your better understanding. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.